Welcome in this session we will see how to perform re-index in PostgreSQL. Uh, we need to understand one thing very clearly in case of PostgreSQL the maintenance activities are very very important and uh, not performing them regularly on time can lead to drastic uh, performance degradation. So the first thing is uh, why the index rebuild is required. So the, the first the first thing is uh, that that happens in all all the uh, the environments. If if there is some software bug or there is some kind of hardware failure, so your indexes may get corrupted, and in that case you have to rebuild your index. This is just generic scenario. There may be a case in case of PostgreSQL that uh, the bloating has uh, has. Uh, has bloated your uh, your index and in that case, case it has uh, uh, many empty or near to empty pages so it, just to remove those uh, uh, bloating from there the unused uh, spaces uh, you need to clear those those spaces so that can increase the performance of the index the third reason why we should re-index is uh, just because if you have modified the uh, fill factor in case of uh, index which you are using in, in PostgreSQL. The fourth one is uh, an index which is uh, built with the concurrently option that has failed. In that case also you have to rebuild your index. And over a period of time when the index gets re uh, uh, bloated, in that case also you are supposed to build, uh, rebuild it again. So the utility is already provided in uh, in Postgre, uh, which is called as reindex. Using the reindex, you can uh, reindex your indexes, uh, particular index, or uh, all the indexes on the tables, or all the uh, indexes on a particular schema or a database. So those things can be done. So what you need to do is you need to create uh, uh, some of the uh, test scenario to generate some of the load. I have already uh, done it. So let's let's see what, what is being done. So I have created the uh, demo table one, two, three, uh, four, and five. Let me create one more uh, demo table. Just to make sure that your wall files are not filled because uh, you are going to uh, fi I mean write uh, at least six tables. Uh, with the, at least 500,000 rows in, in each table. So I'm just going to create one more. Just now I have created five tables, each with the 5,000 rows, uh, 500,000 rows uh, the, using the um, function which is called as generate underscore series. So it is very easy to use. So, uh, you, you must use it. Uh, the, the next thing is uh, uh, how can I use the indexes uh, or the tables which are, which are already available. So you simply say uh, DT plus so that will show you the table. So demo table underscore one to five already was there. So just I created one more table uh, which is uh, demo uh, underscore table six and if you have to check the, the indexes what you have to do is just say uh, di plus so you will be able to see uh, there is an index which we just created and uh, and uh, it, it is on the uh, on the okay I think I haven't given the table name all right so demo table six All right, so there may be such case over here as well. So this is my demo table underscore five. This is on demo table underscore four, three, two. Okay, so rest of the things, everything is fine. So that's that's how you have to generate some load. And one of the thing which you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, use uh, sysbench to load uh, some of the data. I have already done it. So you just create a user database and you uh, grant all privileges on sysbench to uh, the sysbench. Then I added uh, the sysbench in pg underscore hba.conf. Then using uh, this particular command, it is available over here in, in this tutorial. You can just copy and paste and see how it works. Also, what you need to do is you need to generate uh, some load using the pgbench. So 
let me drop the database drop db pg bench it is hopefully dropped so what i'm going to do is okay i created a blank table and then using the pg bench hyphen i pg bench i have initialized it now let me Uh, using 50 connections and uh, uh, 1000 connect, uh, transactions, let, let us pump some data. Once it is done, you can load uh, the DVD rental database. Uh, the software is already attached in the tutorial. Using that, you can, uh, 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 what do you say, uh, you can import the database and then we will see how to re uh, perform the indexing. So one of the things which you need to remember is we are going to load a lot of data. So make sure that uh, your uh, wall location is not filled up. df-h dollar pg data. Okay, we have a lot of space available now also. So the important part is uh, you you uh, perform a lot of operations just to create a lot, lot of tables in, in your case. So what I'm going to do is using PSQL, first of all, uh, let's go to, I'm logged into Postgre database and let's see what all indexes we have over here. You can see a lot of indexes are there. There are 10 uh, indexes. I just wanted to, to re-index uh, uh, one of the index. So what I will do is re-index, index and the index name. This is done. This way you can do it uh, one by one if, it, if that is the case. Otherwise, what you can do is on a particular table, let's say there are indexes and if you wanted to uh, re-index all the indexes which are there on a particular table, you can do it. So let's say uh, if I say DT plus, there is a table called as uh, demo table two. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to re-index all the indexes which are there on this particular table. So let's do the re-index table and uh, table name. So this is this is done. If you wanted to re-index uh, all the uh, the indexes in a particular schema, you can do that. Let's say if I wanted to re-index uh, uh, the uh, uh, all the indexes in, in particular schema, I, I'll be able to do that. This is how to done. We will see in another uh, scenario how to actually uh, speed up uh, this, this entire stuff. And the final, uh, 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 the final uh, command which you can use is uh, re-indexing all the, all the indexes in a particular database. Let's go to DVD rental. This is re-indexed. Okay, we have completed it. Then there is an assignment. Make sure that uh, you, let me save this because there was an error. and make sure that you uh, uh, try out this uh, re-indexing assignment. So what you need to have, you need to have the uh, PG-13 um, installed on an EC2 instance. Then you need to generate some uh, load on it. So you generate at least five or six tables or 10 tables. 
uh, I have uh, used 500,000 rows for inserting the rows in those five tables and created uh, the relevant uh, indexes on those. And then I used a sysbench uh, to generate some load and indexes, then pgbench, and then I imported the DVD rental database. And then using the multiple uh, available indexes, you can perform the reindexing of individual in index. You can perform the reindexing of the table, schema, and database. The, the help steps are available over here. Demo on the reindex, and, and this is all a step. So just, just look at it once you are not able to perform it yourself. So this is all available over here. I hope this is going to help, and uh, thank you.